First there was TouchWiz, then came Samsung Experience, and now Samsung has a new UI for its smartphones. It's simply called Samsung One UI and is based on Android 9 Pie. From what we've seen, it's quite an improvement over the previous UIs. But before we get into the features of the Samsung One UI, you can actually try it out for yourself if you're in India and have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 phone. Of course, this is going to be the beta version and we advise you to back up all your data and not try it on your primary phone if possible. Well, with that out of the way, here's how you can download it right now. Download the Samsung Members app from the Play Store in case you don't have it already installed. There, go to Notices and tap on Registrations open for One UI Beta program. You'll of course need to be signed in with the Samsung account to register yourself. Once done, simply head to the System Update section on the Settings app and refresh it. You should immediately get an update which is close to a 1.5 GB download. In case you can't or don't want to get the Samsung One Beta on your phone, don't worry, we'll tell you what's new and what's improved. You either love or hate it, but having a dark mode option in all your apps is a feature that excites many of us. And that's exactly what Samsung is offering here. Call the night mode in Samsung's One UI. You can find the toggle to turn it on under display in the settings menu. Once on, it's a system-wide change that reflects all the default Samsung apps like dialer, messages, gallery, calendar, and more. Not only does this look good, but it may even help reduce battery consumption on Samsung phones that sport an AMOLED display. Speaking of settings, it has a cleaner and neater look as well. Settings are clubbed together in separate cards, making them easier to find than looking at long list of options. This card-based UI also extends to the subsections in settings. Color-coded icons are back in the main settings menu, but this time they look bolder and visually livelier. Samsung has taken a page from Android Pie's notifications panel design and made it their own, in a good way. A single swipe will get you all the basic notifications and a single row of toggles. And for the rest of the quick settings, just do a second swipe. If you notice, on the second swipe, all toggles move closer to the bottom of the screen, which makes them easy to reach with a single hand. In fact, that brings us to the next big change. The One UI design has been aimed to make single-handed use easy. You must have noticed the big headers in the notifications panel and in the settings menu, where the usable items start closer to the center of the screen instead of the top. We found a similar theme across many Samsung's apps including contacts, galleries, messages, and more. This is good news considering how tall Samsung premium phone screens are. The eagle-eyed amongst you must have already caught the round corners on the One UI's various elements. You can see it in the icons, on the cards across the interface, and even in the gallery. It's a fun little change to the UI, which we think is a visual improvement. Don't like the navigation bar? One UI now gives you the option to replace it with gestures. But unlike Android 9, Samsung has implemented its own gesture controls that doesn't stray too far from the traditional Android navigation. So instead of using the Home, Back, and Recent Apps buttons, you can simply swipe up on their space instead. Is this a better way to go than Android Pie's default gestures? Tell us in the comments. Besides these, there are some other small changes that you'll notice across Samsung's One UI, like smoother animations across the interface. Let's see what else will change by the time the final version rolls out in January 2019. Thanks for watching, and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.